Hello, my name is Francesco Malatesta and I'm from MediaKite, a New York-based production company. What we do, we focus a lot on documentaries that have like a social and a political uh, strong background. We started Media Kite in 1999. Mostly at that time we were doing a service for news and we were working mostly for uh, foreign uh, broadcasters. And then uh, slowly we expanded in doing some of our original productions. Uh, usually original productions were done according to what was our uh, personal interest at that time and so the, the main focus was uh, on uh, traveling and on uh, uh, traveling looking for uh, undisclosure social issues and political issues uh, around the world. We have uh, a few projects in, in productions. One is about the drug war in Mexico following one of the most uh, uh, infamous and controversial figure in Mexico uh, drug war and is this guy named El Chapo that is the head of the Sinaloa cartel that is expanding his power over the other uh, Mexican drug cartels and so we try to tell the story following uh, uh, the personal character of this man that is a very controversial figure. We did uh, last year a project uh, uh, regarding the automakers crisis in, um, in Detroit, in Michigan, and then once we were doing the project, we came across uh, this story that is about this court in Detroit where they have the biggest, the highest number of foreclosures all over the United States. And this story is very interesting because this one is, is, a, is a story about this crisis affecting the everyday life of ordinary people and how do they have to cope and move on in order to save their way of living. The biggest challenge is to, for us when we realize a project is in the, on the first stage to find a potential uh, buyer or sponsor that somehow is committed to the project and uh, of course uh, uh, in now in, in this economy uh, it's not very easy to find somebody willing to invest in projects that do not have an immediate uh, economic uh, response and also it's not always very easy to do television that is not very commercial but that is the focus uh, on uh, social issues. I think if you move to New York, uh, I mean, it's not easy because here there is a lot of competition, but it's also there are a lot of opportunities. The main advice that I would say is uh, not to be tempted by like a, a steady job that can give you some security at the beginning, but try really to do what you like. Try to uh, find what really gives you uh, pleasure and satisfaction in your work life because even if it doesn't pay back immediately in the long run probably is the thing where you can came out the best because really you're doing what is your passion and that's uh, at the end is gonna be rewarded.